Believe it or not, we get an update today. <laughs> Hi, this is Des. Here at Grok Train, it's Thursday, June 9th, 2011. Dow up 75 points. We were up 120 points at one point, but we did get a sell-off into the strength near the end of the day. But the Dow up 0.63%. S&P up 0.74%, the Nasdaq up 0.35%, Russell's up 0.6%, Banks up, but not by much, VIX actually dropping by 5%, Gold up, Silver up, US Dollar up, weighing on the markets today, uh, but the markets fought through it, and Crude Oil also up 0.73%. We had transportation index doing exceptionally well, giving support there to the Dow. And here's what we're looking at. We had an extended run to the downside. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six bars southbound. Doesn't surprise us to get a little bounce here on the centered oscillator, the MACD. We do have a crossover with a positive tick on the histogram. So that has given us some upward motion now with this movement we do have a higher high higher low and we should be getting a bounce however the volume stunk today this upward movement there were very few bulls interested in piling in so i'm not overly excited about this little pop matter of fact on all the longs that i had uh, this morning i did unload my hedge and actually, I unloaded my hedge the night before last night and went bullish go overnight. And today, you know, um, things worked out really well. I re-added my hedge near the close of today. And also, on all the longs that I have, I don't know, I have uh, 10 to 15 longs going. I went ahead and put stop losses on those. So, in the event the markets go southbound, that will be very bearish. I want to just get out of my longs because I have no hope for them. <laughs> and at that moment, I will be net to the short side looking for downward momentum and hopefully uh, some profitability to the downside. The only problem is we're very extended to the downside. We're expecting some sort of rally, but I think this rally could be short-lived. I do expect to get some sort of pop going into tomorrow, challenging this trend line. I could see the SPX getting around, um, staying below 1300. That's what I'm expecting. If we get that, we could uh, just start heading south again. We need to get more volume. We just don't see it here. So don't get too excited about this little pop because it is not confirmed. And maybe you're starting to wake up to the fact that you need more formalized trading education. And I'd like to give you a informational webinar tonight. It's free, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard, 6 p.m. Pacific. If you'd like to join us, simply click on the calendar and click on today and get registered and you'll get a link and you can be a part maybe you can't join us but you'd like to get the recording fill out the form I'll make sure you get a recording but we do have a live program coming up in a few weeks in Las Vegas if you'd like to do a live program with us that'd be the time to do it we also have a couple online ones that we could do also take care and safe trading to you all